Did you know you can run an analysis comparing yourself to your competitor to find what content you're missing compared to them? And based on that, write that content to become an authority in your industry and also generate more traffic at the same time. This is one of the core features of Key Search, but they have much more. And I've tested the full version and I'll now share my thoughts on Key Search. I first stumbled upon Key Search on Twitter or X as it's called now, where more and more different SEOs were sharing it. And then I saw that they slowly started to pop up in different SEO newsletters. So they've been ramping up their marketing lately. And the core idea of Key Search is to be an alternative to Ahrefs and SEMrush, but a cheaper alternative. And of course, they don't have the same size of database of domains, backlinks and keywords, but overall they're doing very well. But let's jump right into the feature I was mentioning in the introduction, the competitor analysis. You can enter up to three of your competitors and then your own domain, and then you can showcase all the keywords you are not ranking for, but your competitors are ranking for. And what I like to do is that I like to sort it by the easiest keywords to target first and then work my way down. So for instance, I try to compare my websites to the major websites, SEMrush and Ahrefs in my industry to see what I needed to compete with them on that I wasn't already competing on. And here I got a long list of hundreds of keywords I could start writing content for. And what I really like here is how simple it is that it's showcasing all of these keywords. I basically just have to choose a keyword and start writing content for it. However, you need to be aware that if you've already written content on a specific keyword, but it's telling you that you haven't, then it's either because you're ranking in top 100 plus or your content is not optimized to well enough for that keyword. So if you have a piece of content targeted to that keyword, then you have to optimize that keyword. Look at the top three ranking for the keyword and then optimize your content based on that. If you don't have a piece of content, then you can start writing content. And here you can also use the content module in Key Search, which is one of the other features. In here, it's super simple. Let's say that I wanted to write an article about Harrow links. Then I would go into the content module, enter Harrow links, and then let the research run. And the research runs and tells me what type of phrases I have to use in my content, the keywords I need to target, the overall research questions, and so much more. So you can see you get so much data and so much research on each query that you're running. And when it is that you have to start writing your content, you can either do it manually or you can use the AI tools. And Key Search has developed AI, of course, on top of OpenAI, where you can generate an outline, you can generate sections of text, but you can't generate one-click articles. And there's nothing wrong with that because one-click articles are easy to beat in the SERP but sometimes it gives a better starting point when you want to optimize or write your article. I much rather want to have a one-click article that it is that I optimize from there, then I have to first generate an outline, and then I have to, for each section, generate content and so on. It's a long process, and it's rare that it's a better output than a one-click article. And from there, of course, you have to optimize manually because the AI can only take you 80% there, and if you want to rank in the top 10, you have to do the last 20% yourself. And this is using right images, adding your own experience, interlinking your post, and so much more. It requires that extra manual input to really be able to rank well. And when you have then written your content, then you can use the rank tracking module. And this is super simple. It's almost the same as using Google Search Console because you can enter your keywords, of course, your domain as well. So Key Search know what domain to track. And the thing is also when you enter your domain, then Key Search will suggest keywords that you're already ranking for. So you can track those rankings and ensure that you stay in the top 10 and hopefully in the top three as well. And it was super simple to use. And overall, I liked it. You can also use this for local rank tracking if you're doing local SEO. So overall, a super simple module, which is the common thread throughout Key Search. They try to do something which in theory is super advanced, but do it very simple and do it to a very cheap price point, which I will come back to. If you want to take it a step further, then you can also run the site audit on your website to ensure that your technical foundation is in order. And it's so important to have a strong technical foundation for your website because it will empower your content much more than if you're missing all tags. You have four or four links or you just have stuff that's not working. That is horrible user experience. 
you really need to ensure that all this is in order. So just run a site audit and get all the points fixed. Either you can do it yourself or you can contact a developer. Often it's super easy to fix these small things. And sometimes you can even install a WordPress plugin that can do it for you if you're using WordPress for your website. And you can do much more with key search. You can run YouTube research if you want to find what videos would be interesting to make where you have a lot of search volume and hopefully low competition. You can also find backlinks, organic keywords, and find keywords based on your competitors. And then you can do keyword research, which is the last thing I want to highlight. Because at first sight, then this keyword research is super simple. You enter your seed keyword, and then you get related keywords. And this works like almost any other keyword research tool. But the difference here is that they're using their own database. And you can see that because not all keywords are analyzed for you. So for example, if I run for SEO as my keyword, then I'll get a bunch of keywords, but not all of them are analyzed. But here I can manually analyze these keywords by clicking on the search icon. You can see for each keyword and then it's analyzed and saved in the database. But of course, that's a tedious process if you have to do that for hundreds of keywords, which I saw sometimes that they do have the keywords, but they don't have the analysis for it. And that's because Finding the keyword is not so heavy for the servers, but analyzing the keyword is super heavy because they need to look at the serve. They need to see what results are ranking with this keyword, how well they're doing. Are they a high domain authority, which means that it will be difficult for other people to rank, or is it low domain authority so people can easily rank on this keyword? That's the heavy process. And that is what's happening when it is you click on the search icon. So at least we get the opportunity to analyze more keywords and get more ideas. And I will really recommend you to do this because I found a lot of golden opportunities by just simply analyzing some of these keywords manually to see were there some behind that I could actually start targeting. Because the most easy thing to do is to run your keyword research, sort by the lowest competition score, and then start from there and write your content, which is also a perfect approach. But if you take it a step further and you start analyzing those keywords which hasn't already been analyzed, then you find those golden opportunities where you can find keywords not everyone has found yet and you can write the cards and be the first one to rank on them. And I try to compare the keyword research module to summarize. So for example, I searched for internal link building and I found almost 700 keywords using key search and they were super relevant. And then I did the same in SimRush and I only got 341 keywords, which were also super relevant. So it's very interesting to me that Key Search actually returned more than double the amount of keywords than SimRush did. So it's super interesting because Key Search cost $17 and SimRush cost a lot more. So that's definitely an interesting approach. So as I mentioned in the introduction, Key Search for me is perfect for ensuring that I'm covering my topic from all angles by comparing my content to an authority in the industry. And then I slowly become an authority. And that's the same you need to do. You need to become an authority in your industry. So Google will prioritize you over others because the more content and the more topics you cover correctly and optimize, the better and more authority you get in your industry. So this is, this is definitely the approach to take to find the content pieces you're missing and then write optimized content for those keywords. And Key Search is definitely available for a lot of us. They have a free plan where you can try it. You don't get access to everything, but you do get access to the competitor gap analysis module that I ran and some keyword research. But the lowest plan starts at $17, which is super cheap compared to Simras and Ahrefs. I know it's not the same type of tool, but at the same time, then they do have some similarities between their features. So Key Search is definitely interesting if you're looking for a budget version of Ahrefs and SimRush. And that's also what they're trying to do. They're trying to develop a tool, keep it super cheap, but still offer a ton of value and features. So you still get the same abilities than using SimRush and Ahrefs. Even though it's going to be difficult so far, they are off to a great start. But I want to give Key Search four stars. The overall package is incredible you get so much value but the ai part and the content optimization definitely needs some work sometimes the ai wasn't even working or the output was just not of high quality and it's such an important part because the writing process is some of the longest it takes when it is that you have to rank for a keyword 
But if you want to see how I optimize my content using five different methods in one tool, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.